Welcome to How To Exercises. Today we're going to do planks. My name is Brian Murphy, and my wife and I are proud owners of Pilates by Murphy's. Welcome. We're going to do plank position. You can, put hands, you can do plank, planks in many different ways. You can be on your hands, or you can be on the elbows. Either way is fine. So we're going to do it on the hands first. You can put your hands flat on the floor. You're going to stretch your legs out, and you're going to hold the plank. There are a lot of things that are happening here while you're here, and I'll hold it while we discuss. Your abdominals are really activated here. So if you let your abdominals go, you will probably end up losing your pelvis, and it's going to start to drop down. As you can see, we have a hyperextended lower back. You're putting pressure in the wrists, your shoulders are dropping, you can see it's not very good form. So, you want to take your abdominals, lift it up, and you just feel your pelvis rise. Now, on the other end of it, if you go too high, or if you let your shoulders curve, again, you see what you call bad form. Also, it's sort of a snowball effect where your shoulders are crunched up, pressure in the wrist especially, and then let's say you don't let the head go down, you want to hyperextend the neck, then we come to some neck issues. So what you want to do is you want to reach your heels back, you want to think your top of your head, or maybe the back of your neck to get long, and push away from the floor. So now your abdominals are working, you're reaching your heels, it's more of a stretch slash strengthening exercise as the support of a, a brute, I got a strong. Nope, it's actually a stronger position and you're gonna relax. So you can do push-ups, planks on the elbows, anything like that. You wanna feel the body stretching out and not hyperextend. And that's how you do the plank exercise. Visit us at pliesbymurphys.com if you have any questions or anything like that. Thanks.